think I sit, do I sit straight down? Mark, I think you need to get up here to, uh, <laughs> to, to be a part of this. <laughs> they asked if everyone would please rise except for people from England, Australia, and Scotland. Good. So who gives this woman to be married? I do. And who are you? I'm a mom. I've heard about you. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, I, and I hear her dad's here too. Where's her dad? Her dad's over there. And I, and I hear her stepdad's here too. Where's her stepdad? <laughs> and, and I hear her stepdad's girlfriend is here too. It's a reality TV show in the making. Here we are. <laughs> I want you to know, the, uh, this is why she took so long to get married. You scared her <laughs> off. Now, do you give her a way to be married freely and with an open heart? Do I not get any money? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, freely and with an open heart. This is your last chance. <laughs> you sure? Yes. Okay. Take her. Take your bride. And stand over here a little bit. You can still hold hands. <laughs> <laughs> I need to not stand on my dress. <laughs> Who is Mark? As a boy, he wanted to be a, uh, a bomb technician. <laughs> but sadly, he was colorblind, so they wouldn't let him. And then he wanted to be a pilot, but he was colorblind, so they wouldn't <laughs> let him. Takes out being a traffic stop cop, doesn't it? <laughs> Carla, as a child, wanted to be a solicitor, and at eight years old, a child said to her on the playground, to be a solicitor, that means that you solicit. So when the teacher said, what do you want to do when you grow up? She said, I want to solicit people. <laughs> Mom, this is why she's come to Vegas, to start a new <laughs> career. <laughs> but today we come together to celebrate the love that you found with each other. Um, Mark, to prove how much these people love you, you're even allowed to have an ex-girlfriend in your line. <laughs> And, uh, and, how, and, and how long did you date that ex-girlfriend? Oh, about a week. About a week, <laughs> which has been common for most of Mark's relationships throughout yeah. his life. But luckily for him, Carla, two weeks in, said, you can move in with me, <laughs> because he wouldn't leave. <laughs> and then he was willing to travel to Australia to be with her. <laughs> yeah. By flying to Vegas and agreeing to wear fuchsia purple and turquoise together, uh, we are declaring our support for your decision to join together in marriage. Uh, thanks, Mom, for making them lengthen their dresses so they didn't look like hookers. <laughs> now, <laughs> I would now like to, uh, the, the couple has asked specifically for me to read their favorite section from the Bible. <laughs> okay, then. <laughs> In lieu of a proper reading, we have uh, uh, their good friend who came in the proper combat boots and wore attire, 
Chris Toft. Chris? Seriously? <laughs> When Carla first came out to Spain, to the sunshine and out of the rain, she started to manage a pub where I went after work for some grub. Over the months there appeared at the bar a man who drove a bright yellow car. <laughs> Mark was his IT, IT geek's name. He was funny, but what was his game? Although some of his jokes could, were quite lame, always back to the same bar he came. Her number was all that he wanted, but Carla, she never responded. For four months, he kept coming back, most likely to look at her. <laughs> the persistence eventually paid. Um, and some progress was finally made. It was January when she finally caved. Pizza, pizza's great is the song that she craved. <laughs> Since then, they can never be parted, except when in bed and he... <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Carla were heading away, because in jib we could no longer stay. We're off to a land down under, when women grow and men plunder. So Mark thought as he sat on a loo, away to Australia he would go too. He could not resist the tall Geordie, poor Sydney's in trouble, oh lordy. I bet customs were not all that sure, should they let these two poms through the door. Her accent they can't understand, as you all know it's definitely not bland. Carla worked at the Strawberry Hills, off her face when in pain on the pills. Whilst Mark was... Whilst Mark was at HSBC, doing all of his stuff in IT. But now they needed a visa to stay, and in Darwin they found one, well hey. So they packed up and left me behind. A big relief on my part, you'll find. <laughs> so that's how things were for a while. So with his way of romance and style, he asked how much leave she could take. Not, a, not enough for a holiday to make. Then I guess we will have to wait here and get married in Vegas next year. And for the drinks her mum's going to pay, after the vows they are here to say. I love you guys, I hope you know. And when will there be kids to show? You guys have just got that spark. Five years. So here's to Carl and Mark. Thanks, man. I didn't want the way to reception and he was wanting some pants and a tie. Now, because uh, they asked me, and primarily I'm a magician, it's time for a magic trick break. <laughs> I'm going to show you something you have never seen before. Are you ready? ready? Spoons! <laughs> what, you've seen these? This works much better in Asia. Here, check these out. Make sure that's just a spoon. It doesn't depend on its own. It's just a spoon. It is what it appears to be. A couple of spoons. One of these two is going to bend. Which one, Carla? Pick me, me, me. No, whichever one you want. <laughs> no, fine. I don't want you to sway just because I said it. That, one. that one's the one you want. You yeah. sure? Okay. Now, Carl, <laughs> I want you to place one hand over mine. Am I putting any pressure on that spoon? No. No. Watch. It's going to start to bend in between our hands. Look in there. If your ring bends, I'm really sorry. <laughs> Do you see it bending? Yeah. Tell us when it stops. It stopped. <laughs> I don't know if you can tell, but there's now a slight difference between that spoon and how it was before. <laughs> Carla, place one finger right there, rub back and forth gentle. It's going to roll up towards you. Do you see that? Yep. It likes you. <laughs> You're making up your own jokes. I said that was <laughs> She's good at that. She is good. Here are. we are. That's why I'm marrying her. A lot of people think that I take it. I put pressure on this when no one's looking. So this time, I won't even touch it. Sorry. Oop, oop. Sorry. I won't even touch it. Ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> Thanks, Mum. Yeah, pull on that. Make sure it's a solid piece of metal. That's a solid piece of metal. Yeah. I'd pull you I'm, off the stage I, I'm with pretty that, light, right? though. But. <laughs> <laughs> and he's on more legal drugs than anyone else in this casino. Yeah. The, uh, but with enough pressure, with enough pressure, you, uh, you can straighten this out. Ow. But it digs into my hand. I don't know if you've seen the movie The Matrix. Do they get that in England? Here we are. <laughs> they paid millions of dollars for someone who could say there is no spoon. And it looked like this. <laughs> oh. That's cool. <laughs> I don't know if you can tell, but that's twisted like a corkscrew. 
The strongest man on earth can't straighten that out. That has been changed forever. Even if you had a bison pliers, it would snap into or go up into the side. That uh, will uh, will never go back straight again, and that now belongs to the two of you. Aww, it's an excellent you. coffee stirring spoon. <laughs> okay, back to the ceremony. Yeah. <laughs> We fought the war of independence against you people so we didn't have to pay taxes. It hasn't been going well for us. Now we're owned by the Chinese. So, uh, so the bride would that like... That was a joke just for you, Dad. <laughs> the, bride, the bride would like to present a poem. Yes? Mark. Mark would like to present a poem. No, someone had a poem of what, what you thought. Oh, you... I couldn't print it out this morning. The okay, board. we're skipping that. <laughs> Excellent, no printer. It was a very good poem about uh, living a life of leisure, and that's why you get married. Uh, moving on, uh, if you would, uh, we're going to let Mark start with his vow. Carla wanted him to go first to make sure he was going to say yes. I want to advance. If you just read these, it's not going to make any sense on your part. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm not marrying you, no, sorry. No, no, no. <laughs> No offense, you're a nice no, guy. But... <laughs> <laughs> I, Mark, take you, Carla, to be my lawfully wedded wife, to be together in happiness and strife, to have and to hold, even if your cooking grows mold. I love you in richness and debt and cherish the day we met. Even if you do spend most of the money, I promise to love you always. Carla, no. was that okay? Was that acceptable? That's acceptable. Does he have to do it again? No, Good. it's fine. Your turn. Okay. I promise to allow at least one hour of Xbox time a week. <laughs> Five hours. I promise to cook one meal at least a week. <laughs> <laughs> I can live with that. I promise to love you forever and be faithful to you always. I love you. I love you too. Beautiful. Do you, Mark, take this woman to live together in marriage? Will you love her and comfort her? Honor and keep her in health and in sickness, in prosperity and adversity, in soberness and uh, drunkenness, uh, and forsake all others, that's the hard part, forsake all others, to be faithful to her as long as you both shall live. I do. Carl, do you take Mark, this man, to live together in marriage? Will you love him and comfort him? honor and keep him in health and in sickness, in prosperity and adversity, whether he's sober or drunk, <laughs> and forsaking all others, to be faithful to him alone, as long as you both shall live. I will. Do we have the rings, Paul? <laughs> <laughs> Paul, give Mark the ring for Carla. Do we have the right ring? You know, he originally proposed to her with the wrong ring. Do we know this? Because he thought the pretty one was the one to stay for the wedding. Um, good. I want you to say with me, say, I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol of my promise. As a symbol of my promise. To always love you. To always love you. Cherish you. Cherish you. Honor you. Honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. With this ring, with this ring, I thee wed, I thee wed, and you put it on your finger. It's upside down, two six. <laughs> You're a perfectionist, aren't you? Oh, yeah. Here we are. Yeah. And give Carla the ring from her. Did somebody remember the KY jelly to get this <laughs> ring on? Where are you putting it? <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> oh, Carla, repeat after me. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol of my promise. As a symbol of my promise. To always love you. To always love you. Cherish you. Cherish you. Honor you. Honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. With this ring. With this ring. I thee wed. I thee wed. Put it on his finger. <laughs> Just a bit of spit. <laughs> <laughs> we, were, uh, we were going to let Sarah give a reading, but since she once had the offense of telling her the uh, bride's mother she wasn't a virgin anymore, uh, we have decided instead to let the maid of honor, Jillian, give a reading. Jillian? Okay. Happiness in 
marriage is not something that just happens. A good marriage must be created. In the art of marriage, the little things are the big things. It's never been too old to hold hands. It's remembering to say I love you at least once a day. It's never going to sleep angry. It is, it is at no time taking the others for granted. The courtship shouldn't end with the honeymoon. It should continue through the years. It is having a mutual sense of value and common objectives. It is standing together and facing the world. It is forming a circle of the love that gathers in the whole family. It's doing things for each other, not in the attitude of duty or sacrifice, but in the spirit of joy and giving. It is speaking words of appreciation and demonstrating gratitude in thoughtful ways. It is not expecting the husband to wear a halo or the wife to have the wings of an angel. It's not looking for perfection in each other. It is cultivating flexibility, patience, understanding and a sense of humour. It is having the capacity to forgive and forget. It is giving each other an atmosphere in which each can grow. It's finding room for things of the spirit. It is a common sense for the good and the beautiful. It is establishing a relationship in which the independence is equal, the dependence is mutual, and the obligation is reciprocal. It is not only marrying the right partner, it's being the right partner. Thank you, darling. Cheers, Julian. Mm -hmm. And now another magic trick. So, <laughs> yeah, this is a piece of magic I originally performed working for a pharmaceutical company called Viagra. Uh, I have a small piece of, I did, a small piece of rope, a medium piece of rope, a great big long piece of rope, small piece of rope, Paul, not saying anything. Okay. <laughs> uh, medium piece of rope, check that out, it's just a piece of rope, great big long piece of rope, fell in the back, perfect. Look at those, pull on them, make sure they're just rope. They don't stretch, they don't have magnets in them, you're chewing on it, that was just in my pants. Okay, here, toss that, toss that back up there, baby. There's the small. There's the medium and long, close. Okay, <laughs> the, uh, only I have longer arms. Uh, small, medium, and long. I'm going to take these and make them all the same length, all the same length. Remember, Viagra. Now they're all the same length, right? Right, right. Children are easier than you people. Here we go. <laughs> You'll like it a lot. Here we go. Just like that, all the same length. Here's one, two, and three, all the same length. The important part is to remember that if it lasts over four hours, you go and see a doctor. That's <laughs> right. You go and see a doctor. Three, all the same length. Wrap it up just like this, just in case after all these drugs he can't get it up. We have a reminder of what to do. There's the small, there's the long, there's the medium, 100%. Thank you. Well, then tie that so you can take over. <laughs> and now back to the ceremony. <laughs> now, <laughs> I've never had anybody ask me to do magic during a ceremony. Um, a few quick announcements. Uh, first to Luke. Where's Luke? Luke, congratulations on your brand new shooting record. Uh, we hear that you received the, uh, you were able to shoot the target less than anyone in history. Uh, we now know that your girlfriend doesn't have to worry about being pregnant. Um, uh, next, uh, Mark. Where is Mark? Where is Mark? Is Mark here? Mark. Uh, we are very happy to have such an expert marksman among us. He was in the Navy for 11 oh, years. Brian. 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 Oh, Brian. Dang it. Brian. 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 Brian for 11 years as a chef. So just in case there were any potatoes to carve, he would have been an expert marksman. Uh, and, uh, and Anna, where are you, Anna? 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 We, the bride hopes you catch the flowers. It's time. OK. <laughs> now, she made him propose. She made him propose three times until he got it right. Did he do it right this time? No. No? <laughs> What do you need him to do? <laughs> it's okay, you wore a silly hat. It's fine. <laughs> <No>. <laughs>
<laughs> he doesn't have to do it I again. I said yes every time, though. She said yes every time. The first time, he forgot a ring. The second time was what? Over the phone? <laughs> that was me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and the third time is in a silly hat. Yeah. But still, we came here together. And uh, Mark and Carla, you have expressed your love and commitment. You have promised each other the joys of all your days. Uh, even though Carla refused to let me use the word obey anywhere in the document. <laughs> Watch out. May you love each other more each day than you do right now. In Italian they say cintani, for a hundred years. May you love each other more each day. Um, it's a long time. It's a long time. <laughs> but medical science is improving. Oh, yeah, that's true. We came together here as two teams. The team, the army that stood behind the groom, the team that stood behind the bride. But in a moment, this divide between us is going to separate as we go into the reception room. And we are one community together that stands beside both of them, not between them. That works together for both of them to help them stay with each other and love each other on the side of both. Not who you entered the room with today, but as a pair, as a couple forever. By the authority committed unto me by the state of Nevada, it gives me great honor and pleasure to pronounce you husband and wife. You may now kiss your bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I present for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Pollard. Give them a round of applause. <laughs> Thank you. 